<laughs> Hi guys, I hope you're having a splendid day out there. And welcome, today we're going to talk about the Swedish weekdays and their origin, why they're called as they are. If you don't know the Swedish weekdays, they are Monda, Tista, Onsta, Torsta, Freda, Lörda, Sunda. And as you can hear, a lot of those sound pretty much alike the English version, except for two, I guess. So uh, yes, let's jump into that and begin with the first day, which is Mondag. Monda means Monday, and Monday is called Monday or the day of the moon because of an early Germanic translation of the Latin word dies lunae, or however you pronounce that, I don't know. But that means the moon goddess Luna's day. Almost pronounced that correctly, but hey, you know what I mean. Luna means moon, moon in Swedish is mone, mondag, monens dog or moon's day, monda. You get it. I, I described that so well. And then comes the day Tista, which is Tuesday. And Tista is named after the old Norse god Tyr. Or in Swedish, he was named T. Tyr is a god with only one hand after he his hand was bitten off by Fenris Ulven. And he was believed to be a war god. And the Latin word for Tuesday is Dies Martis which basically means Mars Day, and Mars was considered to be a war god also. And so it was suggested that the Germans identified Mars with Tyr and decided to name the Tuesday into Tyrstag, or Tista today. So it was Tyr's Day. I couldn't describe that better. And then comes Unsta. And this day sounds pretty different from Wednesday, but that is because it was named after the old Norse god Odin. You might know him as Odin, or however you pronounce that, but Odin was compared to the Roman god Mercury. The word for Wednesday in Latin is Dies Mercury. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but... <laughs> and so they decided to put it into Odin's dog became Unsta. There you go. Fun fact! Onsta is sometimes referred to as Lillöda or Little Saturday. That is because according to old Swedish tradition, Wednesday was the day that the maids had their day off and not on Saturday. So it became the Little Saturday. Nowadays we still have Lillöda but it's more used as an excuse to throw a little party or think that it's almost Saturday because it's halfway through the week and so it's Lillöda. You can drink or whatever you want to do. So from maids into alcohol, that's what we became here. Yes, anyway. And then comes the day Tushta, which is Thursday. And you can always hear why it's called as it is. It's named after the old Norse god Thor, or Thor <laughs> in English. But Thor was the god of thunder in Old Norse mythology. Fun fact! In both Sweden and in Finland, we eat something called atchoppa on Thursdays, which is translated into pea soup. And it's also common to eat pancakes after the soup as well. The next day is freda, or Friday. And that is named after the Old Norse god Freya or Frigg. It's debated whether she was named Freya or Frigg, but it's basically her day. And she was the wife of Odin or Odin. <laughs> Fun fact! There is something in Sweden called Fredas Mys, or Friday Coziness, I guess it's translated into. But it's a set of activities that you do at the end of uh, the work week on Friday after work, basically, where you gather the family or uh, maybe relatives or friends and eat together and watch TV together. You eat, mostly eat food that is easily cooked, so in my case it's been a lot of tacos. And I think a lot of you can identify with that if you're a Sweden and have had Fredasmis when you were younger. Um, but yes, good to know. And then comes the day Loda, which is Saturday. And those two doesn't look anything alike, but that is because Loda is named after the old tradition in Sweden to wash yourself on Saturday. At Lögase. The word Löga is an old Germanic word for water or waterfall. So therefore it became Lögaredagen. Which is pretty long, so we shorten it down to just Lörda. Now you know that. And the last day of the week is Sunda, which means Sunday. And it's pretty much the same word, and it means almost the same thing as well. It's named after the old Norse god Sul. She was also called Sunna or Sunne in some places. She was the sun goddess, as I said, and she was applied to the Latin word of the word Sunday, which is dies solis, meaning the day of the sun. 
Sunedag Sunda. Yes. <laughs> All right, so those were the Swedish weekdays and how they are named and why they are named as they are. Hopefully you learned a little bit about the origin of those and maybe even how to pronounce stuff like that. And hopefully you guys will have some fredagsmys after this day. I don't know if it's Friday today, but if it is, then be sure to have that. <laughs> Until the next time I see you and your pretty face, I hope you have a splendid day. Ciao!